$25.99 product makes my foundation look high in. Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and today I'm going to be mixing in this from Essence, their Hello Good Stuff. Now, I recently did purchase the uh, Glow Recipe, which this is supposed to be a dupe for. And while I think this is a great product as far as the look that it gives, this gives me the same look. Now, I'm going to mix it in with one of my favorite affordable foundations. It's the Believe Beauty from Dollar General. It's $5.50. Let's see how all this turns out. So I'm starting off with my Believe Beauty Foundation. This is from Dollar General. It's $5.50. I have the shade Nude. This is so beautiful, but even more beautiful with this $5.99 product from Essence. It's called Hello Good Stuff. It's a glow serum. Now the Believe Beauty is not a glowy foundation. I'm putting one pump into it, but it's more of a satin finish, which I love, but I want a little luminosity to the skin. So I'm gonna blend this really well here on my glass palette. This also helps with spreadability of the product. I'm going in with my Delium brush and I'm just sort of pressing the product into the skin. I do bring this up under my eyes. Now, if you're using concealer, I would recommend going right up to about here and using just concealer in the under eye. I've tried mixing this essence with concealer and that works beautiful too. The reason I'm saying that is so you don't have too much uh, product underneath the eye. And I'm just patting in any spots where I have a little more pigmentation. I love the coverage that I'm getting from this. This is what I would call a medium to full coverage foundation. And the great thing about adding the Hello Good stuff to it is that it thins it out so it doesn't look so thick on the skin. Another thing I like about this foundation is I get great coverage where I have broken capillaries. My makeup also wears off more quickly around the nose. I have a little bit of an oily T-zone. So using this foundation, I don't get the breakdown that I do from others. And with this essence added to it, it spreads like a thinner foundation. Look at what a natural glow my skin has. By adding the Hello Good stuff to the foundation, look how much I have left. So adding this makes it spread so much better and you use a lot less product. I know how much you all love nude makeup. I recently purchased this at Target. I'll have all the links beneath the description of the video, but this is their Vibe Check. I only used this shade and this one, well, actually this one too on the outside. So these three on the edge for my eye look today, but I wanted to show you a couple of things I've been using to get a nude look because I know so many of you love nude. Now this is the Juicy and Pang Blusher, and I love it because it reminds me of the pricier Daniel Sandler watercolor blush. I just like to put a few drops here on my glass palette and then tap it into the skin. Now this is a nude, but it's got a little bit of pink to it. So I really like that because it looks natural on the skin. Look at how beautiful that is. It's luminous without being glittery or too shimmery. So it just gives you a very dewy look. This lasts all day. I wear this quite a bit to school and I just have such a natural flush on the cheeks at the end of the day. So I really love this one. You really don't need to even blend it much, but I'm just gonna take my brush and pounce it in a little bit. Now for the lips. I have a K-Beauty lipstick to share with you from Etude House. This is a beautiful lipstick. It's not shimmery. It's more of a mousse texture. I'm going to add a little lip liner to define my lips. Sometimes I like to do the lip liner second because then I can really get good definition to the lips. This is Color Stay and it is in the shade Natural.
This is my everyday look that I love to wear to work. It's hard to believe that this is only $5.99. Now, I did try the more expensive product. This is the Glow Recipe, and I feel like this is just as good. I haven't noticed a big difference between the two. I'll keep trying both of them, but I'm very impressed with this for $5.99. It really works great with makeup. So I like to think of some of these products as not just for skincare, but for mixing with foundation to improve them. Remember, I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern. Leave me a comment below if there was something you enjoyed from the video, or is there a product you like to mix with your foundation to make it look more expensive. I love you all so much and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.